Hello guys, I am Flash Isaac and today I'll be taking you through sequence and series. What is a sequence? A sequence is simply progression or succession of terms. Each term is similar to another by a well-defined rule. Now, give you this 5, 11, 17 and 23 you will notice something if this is the first term and this is the second this is third and this is the fourth term let's use multiplication one times c is, is simply six minus one is equals five so we've used this formula to get the first term let's see if it works for the next term for the second term, it means n, which is n term or number of term, is 2. So we have 2 times 6 minus 1. 2 times 6 is 12 minus 1. This is equals 11. So we've got the second term. Now let's see something. Third term, let's n is 3. So for third term, 3 times 6 minus 1. 3 times 6 minus 1 is simply 17. And for the fourth term, n is 4. So 4 times 6 minus 1 is equals 23. So what does that tell you? The formula for this term or the difference between them is simply n times 6 minus 1. To get the fifth term, it will simply be 5 times 6 minus 1. 5 times 6 is 30. 30 minus 1 is 29. You continue like that. So that's how you get the other terms. Therefore, this is a sequence because each term, each successive term relates to another by a well-defined rule. This is the rule these guys follow. Now look at this second one. If I say 3 raised to the power of n minus 1, for first term, n is 1. So it means for first term, 3 raised to the power of 1 minus 1 is equals 3 raised to the power of 0 and in the law of indices any meaningful number raised to the power of 0 is 1 so this is 1 and for the second term let's say we have n is 2 for second term 2, 3 raised to the power of 2 minus 1 is simply 3 raised to the power of 1 which is equal 3 and for the third term is simply 3 raised to the power of 3 because for third term n equals 3 so minus 2 this is equals minus 1 which is the formula this is the same thing as 3 raised to the power of 2 and this is equals 9 so you see we've been able to derive formulas that these patterns follow that this sequence follow that's how sequence uh, sequence works you look you see a collection of numbers you try to imagine what relates them how they differ or how they relate what should we add to get the next one what should we subtract to get the previous one so that is uh, sequence. How about series? Series is simply addition of sequence. So if I have this sequence, is the series becomes 5 plus 11 plus 17 plus 23. And if it continues, it continues. For this sequence, the series is simply 1 plus 3 plus 9 plus 27 plus 81. So that is what series is about. It's just addition of sequences. It's nothing that special. Is that okay? So let's look at this example. This example says, if the nth term of a sequence is given by, the nth term is 5 times 3 n minus 2. Write down the first three terms. So for this sequence, the first thing will simply be when n is equals 1. As n equals 1, the first term is simply 5 times 3 raised to the power 1 minus 1, which is equals 5 times 3 raised to the power of 0. And 3 raised to the power of 0 is 1. So the first term is 1, comma. We look for the second. The second will simply be when n equals 2. So 2 minus 1. This is equals 5 times 2 minus 1 is 1. 
3 raised to the power of 1 is 3. So 5 times 3 is 15. So the second term is 15. How about the third term? The third term will simply be 5 times 3 raised to the power of 3 minus 1, which is equals 5 times 3 minus 1 is 2. 3 over 2. And this is 5 times 3 raised to the power of 2 is 3 times 3, which is 9. So this is 9. And 5 times 9 should give you 45. So this is the uh, third. We've gotten the answer. And if we are looking for the series, the first three series, it will simply be 1 plus 15 plus 45. So that's how it works. Now take a look at the other example. It says, find the series for the first four terms of 2 raised to the power of n plus 3n. Now take note of this. This one, we are asked to look for the series. Take note, series. It means every answer we get, we add them, we put them in terms of plus. If it were a sequence, any answer we get, we put it in terms of comma, comma separated uh, values. So given this, the first term will obviously be when uh, n equals 1. So 2 raised to the power of 1 plus 3, 1. This will give you 5. Second term is when n is equals 2. So 3, 2. This will give you uh, 2 raised to the power of 2 is 4. 3 times 2 is 6. 4 plus 6 is 10. This is 10. The third term will be 2 raised to the power of 3 plus 3, 3, which is uh, 2 raised to the power of 3 is 8. 8 plus 3 times 3 is 9, 9. So 8 plus 9 is simply 17. So look at that. And the fourth term will be 2 raised to the power of 4 plus 3, 4. This is equals 2 raised to the power of 4 is 16. 16 plus 3 times 4 is 12. So 16 plus 12 will give you 28. So this is the fourth term. This is how you solve for series. So that's that on series and sequence. When it comes to a series or sequence, we have two types, which is arithmetic sequence or arithmetic progression and geometric sequence or exponential sequence or as a geometric progression. So I'll work on those ones in the next video. For now, hope you enjoyed this tutorial on sequence and series and the difference between series and sequence. Thanks for watching and don't fail to subscribe to this channel so that you get my amazing videos as they come.